Hey everybody, welcome back to another two minute tutorial. This one is on ASME B1620 revision that happened in uh, 2017. We worked with our friends at TEDIT with uh, Mr. Vega, Giro, Joe Balch, and myself to look at how to look at B1620 dimensionally and performance wise. So I'm not gonna go into the full presentation, but our thought was, is anybody QCing gaskets? Um, we always ask, are they QCing the bits? And so one of our first questions was, Let's go look at the dimensional QC, let's go look at the performance, and let's go see what else we can do for the R&D. So you can see here that in the dimensional and material testing, you've got P&I, uh, the graphite testing, dimensional testing. How do you do the dimensional testing? You literally cut open gaskets uh, that get shipped to the warehouse uh, or that you make and check all the measurements to make sure that they meet B1620, right? Um, and you can see that the changes that were made for, that was the dimensional, but the changes that are made on the performance testing is actually to perform, to see their leak rates per gasket size and see if you can over compress them. Uh, the uh, test media is typically methane in there, right? You add a certain amount of gasket stress to these guys, you measure the PPM, you see at the different seating stresses, these are the seating stresses that we've got in there. That's listed in B1620, right? And then you stick it in a basically hydraulic press. You test out the gasket for the performance, making sure it doesn't hit on the outer ring. And you can see some things like this, like these were the tests that we were doing. Ah, this, this batch of gaskets was a bad batch of gaskets. So we caught a bad batch. This was the acceptable leak rate. And if you notice, we're real low on these guys. We had a bad batch of gaskets. So you go back in, you fix those, you fix the glitch. So if you're not testing this, you're going to see that you're going to have issues with your gaskets. Uh, Tedit has done a really good job about testing these guys. That's their 300 ton press that can do up to 18 inches. That's the biggest I've seen in the industry. Uh, this little 50 ton press can do up to six inches. So we really liked this, what Tedit was doing, because then you got into the different um, types of gaskets. So the first one that I showed you was a four inch 300. And now you're starting to look at, whoa, gasket compression thickness. You don't want to end up on that outer ring. And what this is basically showing you is there's a lot of gaskets ending up on the outer ring. If you notice, there's a lot of people who've been upping the windings in their spiral wound gaskets, right? Uh, this was for uh, multiple sizes and classes too, as well. So. We were looking at all of them for them, and one of the things we found in this in the conclusion, if you want more information, you can uh, uh, email us at info at hextechnology.com. But, you know, you really should be asking the manufacturers, what are you doing for performance testing? What are you doing for uh, dimensional testing, right? To see what they're really doing to help ensure that you're getting a good quality gasket. Again, if you'd like more information on this, info at hextechnology.com. Look forward to talking with you guys soon. Take care.